Hello guys, my name is Marcus Hammerberg. I want to show you uh, how to get started using Koa JS. Koa is a really interesting new JavaScript framework, I think, because it helps us get rid of callbacks nested and still can we can still use non-blocking code. Uh, however, it uses some features that is not uh, yet in standard JavaScript and hence not supported by the standard versions of uh, uh, Node. So we need to do some settings and uh, installations before we can get running. Uh, and I suspect that many people will run into these problems that I have run into when you first got started. So <clears throat> this is the demo on how to get started with Koa through failures. It's not as all as hard it, as it uh, may sound or, or seems, but it uh, can be good to see the failures, I think, because you will maybe run into some of these. So the site we're building is really simple. It's just outputting, yes, it's running just fine as our body. The only thing we need to do is requiring Koa, start the application, and we do a function that is our middleware that answers to every request for the application. And then we fire Koa up, and I always write this little log message. It's not needed, but otherwise I get confused. I don't know about you. In my uh, directory, I also have a package JSON file here, which just describes my uh, application called first Koa site. So let's say that you've written this and or maybe brought it down and you fire it up as we always do like this. And what you will run into is this error. This is the first error that I ran into and it says unexpected token asterisk. And I must say that I first didn't even see it. But this little asterisk here is actually how you denote that this function is a generator. I will do a separate screencast describing uh, what generators are. Uh, Koa uses them extensively and it's a great way to actually don't you, uh, get out of writing nested callbacks and still use the non-blocking features. Every middleware of Koa is a generator function like this function here. So what uh, Node is saying us here is, I don't know what uh, star means, because it's not the standard, it, it's not in the standard versions of uh, JavaScript. So if we do Node version, what are we running here? We're running the sp stable version 10.26. And at this point, yeah, I could install a new version of Node, but maybe I have stuff that I don't want to break, so I would not want to do that. Luckily for us, there's a tool called NVM. There's another tool also called just N, but I've used NVM and it's really nice because, as they said, it allows us to install multiple versions of Node on the same uh, machine. If you scroll down, we have a little installation script here that we can run and it will go out and uh, download uh, the NVM and it will be installed. As you can see here, I already had it installed and once that done, you need to close the terminal and then fire the terminal up again in order for it to take. When we do that, we have a new bash command called nvm. Running it will only display this, but running it with an ls will actually list the versions that you have installed. So right now, it has selected this version for me, which is actually pretty nice. Koa requires 11 Point 0.9 or higher. If you want to change version, you just do nvm use and then the version number. So let's go, that, that's the latest uh, stable version of uh, Node and you can see we're now using Node 11.12. Uh, uh, so if I do Node version now, what version is, am I running Node? It's 11.12. That's really good. It's about 11 uh, above 11.9, so we're fine. Uh, once again, let's try to run our site. And now you get, to, uh, at least I got, got very confused. Still unexpected token. But we were on the right version of Node. So that's really surprising. However, 
there is one more thing that we need to do because we need to tell Node that I'm planning to use these new features that there is hidden under the uh, suspicious name uh, Harmony. So let's do something like this node dash dash harmony and then the file that tells node use the harmony flag uh, use the harmony features among them are uh, generators so if we do that it fails again and this is simple because we forgot to install kua right so we need to install the package it's just like any old node package so we do npm install Kua, and then of course we save it to our uh, package.json file that goes out and grabs it from, from npmjs.org and now we have the site uh, now we have the package locally so you can see it also created the node modules for us so we try again node harmony app.js and this time it actually works and if we now hit localhost 3000 we get this so that's, that's fine. We're now up and running. The Kua is uh, installed and uh, we're using it. So if you don't want to do anything more than this, you can stop the video now. However, what I have come to do is I always forget to write that flag. So I usually do a start script in my package.json file. So adding a scripts node that package uh, that npm init will add for you and then within that add a script called start and here you simply paste in that script i think this is better because clearing the screen again now you can just do npm start and it's fire it fires up the application just as before but we can do better still because if we want to change stuff here now, uh, in fact, you know the smallest possible uh, application for Kua looks like this. So if we will, will want to do that now, we need to stop the site like I just did and then save the file and uh, reload. So we can. there's a tool that can help us do that. It's called Nodemon. So let's do npm install nodemon save that reference in our package file in the meantime we can change the package the start script so we will now use our local node modules node mon where it will end up bin node mon yeah yes that's the file it will use the harmony flag and it will watch changes in this file so that's the quite long command but it's now hidden on the npm start so we can use that as our uh, as our command for uh, to start our application that's installed and when we now do npm start it fails because I rewrote the uh, I didn't write the path correctly sorry let's see if we can fix that uh, node modules is the name another failure you get some more uh, uh, information from nodemon and uh, if we do a change in here so let's change to the smallest possible koa site we'll pick that up and change it here all i have to do is uh, in fact let's test it also right yeah it works so I'll change to that, save, and if we look in our terminal, we see that it's now restarting due to changes, starting with the same command, and we can just do this, which is actually the default error message from Kua. So the minimalistic site is now there. Let's change back because that's just stupid. It's restarted for us, and the application is now up and running. So that's really uh, all the problems that I ran into. Uh, the first time I ran into them, I didn't uh, realize what they were so fast. I hope you find this uh, useful. Thank you for now.